Biden must safeguard families from drug addiction. Overdose deaths caused by opioids claim the lives of more than 80,000 loved ones each year in the United States. This number includes my own son Jeffrey and is made up of actual people, such as friends, spouses, and family members. I am a mother, and I am all too familiar with the effects of the opioid addiction problem. My husband and I fight tenaciously for our child in the hopes that no other parent will experience the same tragedy. Unfortunately, the Biden administration is stalling the progress we made, despite the fact that Congress responded to our demand to increase access to non-addictive pain management solutions. Before it affects millions more people, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services CMS, must act quickly to put into place a proactive strategy to combat the opioid addiction pandemic. In our nation, we focus too much on after-the-fact fixes rather than addressing the root causes of our issues. One of the most tragic examples is the opioid crisis, which our family has personally experienced with our son. After having his wisdom teeth removed at the age of 17, Jeffrey began his 18-year battle with addiction, which all started with a prescription. Before succumbing to his addiction and dying at the young age of 36, he underwent rehabilitation and even spent time in prison. I saw firsthand with my son that, once you become addicted to opioids, you are locked in for a lifetime battle. Jeffrey's passions for things like baseball and art were all lost to a stronger force. While we must support those battling addiction, I continued to implore leaders in Washington to act on the solutions right in front of them that would prevent addiction before it starts. If something could have prevented Jeffrey from being given that opioid prescription, I might still have my son today. Fortunately, we are on the path to a viable solution. In 2022, Congress passed the Non-Opioids Prevent Addiction in the Nation, No Pain, Act in its end-of-year legislative package. Once implemented, this policy will expand patient and provider access to safe, FDA-approved non-opioids in outpatient surgical settings. The No Pain Act will cover millions of Medicare patients who undergo outpatient procedures every year and prevent addiction before it starts for those who might have otherwise fallen to addiction if prescribed opioids. As our nation's battle with fentanyl rages on, we cannot ignore that 75% of heroin users report using a prescription opioid before moving to illicit substances, making solutions like the No Pain Act an important upstream measure to fight the epidemic. This legislation is increasingly urgent as we consider the scope of the opioid addiction crisis. In 2021, we lost over 107,000 Americans to drug overdose, with three out of every four people lost succumbing to opioid-related overdoses. In 2021, we lost nearly 7,200 Californians to opioid overdoses. And in San Francisco, California's 11th Congressional District, we had an opioid overdose rate more than twice the national average in 2020. Unfortunately, the effects of the No Pain Act will not be implemented as soon as we so desperately need. Its provisions will not go into effect under CMS until 2025. That is two more years of patients being prescribed opioids unnecessarily and facing the risk of addiction. It is also two more years where those with substance use disorder must weigh if they should undergo an outpatient procedure at the risk of falling back into addiction if exposed to an addictive pain treatment. With 220 people dying each day from opioid-related overdoses, CMS must recognize what waiting to implement the No Pain Act will mean for thousands of families. Is it time to cancel the Boeing Starliner? I'm an AI expert, here's my worst-case scenario. Putting a policy like the No Pain Act into action is not an unfamiliar process to CMS. The agency has expanded access to non-opioids before within the ambulatory surgical setting, updating its policies in 2019 to provide greater access to non-opioid pain management options. The agency has the playbook to make the No Pain Act happen, it just needs to treat this legislation with the urgency it deserves. I cannot bring Jeffrey back, but I can fight to make sure other families do not go through the same experience I did. As lawmakers pass life-saving legislation, CMS must bring it across the finish line. We cannot wait one day more than necessary to prevent addiction before it starts. Suchot Bree, an opioid addiction crisis advocate.